So I have my new ASRock board. Here is the uh, Kingston M.2 I'm using. I want you to remember the model number SA400M8-240G. That is the model number of the M.2 drive I'm using right now. So give me a second and now we'll uh, go to Amazon. Here is the uh, Amazon page for the exact same SSD that is currently inside my uh, computer. It is SA400M8-240G. It's the exact same thing. It even classifies as itself as an M.2. And of course the pinout is exactly the same. And for the life of me, no matter what I do, this M.2 will refuse. Fuse to show up in my motherboard in the motherboard's BIOS, even after updating to the newest version of their BIOS. And the and people are having the same problem too. But um, the problem is they're only having problems with the B with the B4 version. I only have the AC version. So let's go boot my computer up. As you can tell, instead of booting into Windows, it goes right to the BIOS like there is no drive plugged in there at all. If I go to the BIOS, it doesn't even show up. If I go to Advanced, let's see Storage, I have this, but I'm not going to change any of that because this, because when, when it came to uh, the M.2 I initially had, it was in a Gigabyte board that I, got, that I originally had. But since that board had such horrible placements for a few of the uh, ports like the like the SATA and the M.2s, I went and got this uh, I went and got this uh, ASRock board instead. Also because it had uh, Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. So uh, yeah, give me a second to bring out the actual board I replaced. This is the original board that ca that that M.2 came out of. That M.2 worked completely fine on this board without a problem whatsoever. And the reason, again, the reason why I replaced this board is because, as you can tell, the USB 3 is right here at the bottom, where it'll go, where it'll be, uh, where it'll be uh, impacting the fan placements, and the SATA were completely blocked from on the GPU. So that's why I went and got this ASRock board. This is still a good motherboard. But for the case and the GPU and the way they had the SATA set up on this board, this board stinks. They need to go in there and redo. They need to go in there and retool this board. My God. What I'll do next is I'll just hit F12 or not F12, F11, and see if it see if it recognizes that way. Hint: It's not going to. As you can tell, new no boot devices found. So um, I'm going to make this video a bit more longer. It's going to be a bit of a pain in the ass for me to do. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this M.2 drive and I'm going to stick it into what is now essentially my secondary uh, computer. I have a M.2 to say the converter uh, converter drive in this uh, in this computer. So I gotta pull this computer out of here and just swap the uh, M.2s and boot into it. Actually, I can't do that. This thing has an Intel i5. If I do that with the uh, current with the current M.2, that thing it will blue screen instantly because this thing's a Ryzen build and this one's an Intel build. So what I'll actually do is I'll just uh, again pull this out and I'll just actually pull out the uh, drive and just swap the SSDs and then just. Put the in and just use that caddy drive and see what happens. At least getting the stuff like the uh, as it, like the hard drives and whatnot is really simple considering this is a complete custom made case. So it sucks I gotta rip this thing out of the uh, off the uh, top, but it has to be done because that stupid because that stupid motherboard I got is refusing to detect the drive. So uh, let me go pull this drive out and uh, swap the M.2s. This is the original SSD 
or M.2 SSD from an old from an old Acer laptop I had. The uh, GPU in it died, unfortunately, so I decided to uh, take this M.2 and, of course, get this little board and use it inside my, what is now, again, my secondary system. But as you can tell, this board has the exact same key layout, so I'm just going to swap them and we'll see what happens. And as you can tell, the pin layout and everything is exactly the same if I can get the autofocus to work for me. Which it refuses to, so let me fix that. There we go. As you can tell, these are the exact same pin layouts. Of course the auto of course the autofocus is refusing refusing to work at times, but uh yeah. And as you can tell, it fits in perfectly fine, completely as it should. So let's go and uh, put this into my uh, computer. All right, got everything connected. Uh, here it goes. And now let's just see what happens when I just let it boot naturally. Will you please autofocus, you stupid phone? And now, it recognizes the M.2 drive in a fucking converter board. So, <clears throat> what's wrong with my motherboard? It boots completely fine. Everything's back up there, excluding a few of my icons, because those icons were... Uh, because those programs were installed onto this little drive here. So, uh, yeah. At least the computer rebooted just fine. Heck, it, heck the CPU is pretty cool. And the freaking Bluetooth is already working. I don't even have the original uh, dongle here anymore. So at least I was correct about this, uh, correct about this uh, motherboard having Bluetooth at least. But a fully working M.2? No, that's too difficult. Especially for a board that costs nearly a hundred fucking dollars. At least I can at least I can add this video to get her on my main system. To bang on me out of my secondary system until I get this freaking piece of junk resolved. Because this is incredibly infuriating.